फ्रेंड्स आई थिंक बाय नाउ यू आर वेरी वेल अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन द आईटी सेक्टर स्पेशली इन इंडियन आईटी सेक्टर एंड हाउ सम ऑफ द आईटी सर्विस कंपनीज आर सफरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एआई वेव बट द बिगर क्वेश्चन इज विल इंडियन आईटी सेक्टर स्पेशली इंडियन आईटी सर्विस सेक्टर सरवाइव और डाय दैट इज द क्वेश्चन वी गोन आंसर टूडे एंड आई हैव गॉट सम डेटा पॉइंट एंड आई होप दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अजफुल वीडियो नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम ओवरऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग परस्पेक्टिव बट ऑल्सो फॉर यू टू मेक सम इनफॉर्म डिसीजन एंड अंडरस्टैंड वेयर वी आर हेडिंग एंड हाउ वी शुड बी प्रिपेयर सो आई थिंक टू स्टार्ट विद वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अ बिट ऑफ हिस्ट्री बिकॉज विदाउट दैट वी विल नॉट हैव द कॉन्टेक्ट सो this whole ai wave started in around 1990 to you know 2000 uh, where we have this dot com boom of sorts okay and this was the time when internet started coming up and all these us businesses were trying to get it services from in, at the cheapest of prices and that's where indian it sector started booming because we started adopting a concept which is called as labor arbitrage charge okay which basically meant that in order to hire a developer in us in those times used to cost me for example 100 dollars in us then what we used to do was we used to give the same developer at 10 dollar cost from india and that was a huge saving for any business and that's why a lot of things started getting offshored to places like hyderabad chennai bangalore pune all these places we started building up massive infrastructure and what we started doing as an indian it sector is we started mass hiring people skilling them at a certain level and then making sure that we are taking on the projects and it grew exponentially i think in the india's growth story in the last 20 years indian it has played a fabulous role i think if i'm not wrong right now we have almost 50 lakh people employed in indian it sector so it is still a massive thing but the question is what has changed now see we have to understand that the model in which the most of it service companies were working was on the basis of labor arbitrage where you wanted that x number of hours and then you had those many hours getting billed against these many developers and then that was the cost and uh, that was the revenue we, they were generating okay but now what has happened is in the last 2 3 years with this ai wave which we are seeing suddenly the way we are solving problems have changed fundamentally so now a startup in us who might be having 100 people but those 100 people are experts in lang chain are experts in building ai agents you know are experts in machine learning all these people a startup of 100 people can are giving very tough competition to big giants because now what has happened is with ai uh, your barrier to entry is completely gone down now even a single person uh, sitting at his home can code an application without knowing the code there are so many things which are are getting automated so that edge which we had as an indian it sector is slowly diminishing it is not going away but it is diminishing and the problem which we have had over a long period of time is that our skills have been with all honestly at a mass level we have had you know average skills we were not very focused on lesser people with very high quality we were at a mass production of knowledge workers we were actually mass producing knowledge workers but when you are mass producing you have to cut down on the quality that is the harsh reality of it now what has happened is with this boom which is coming up that arbitrage is now fading away because now the us company and now uh, with uh, trump uh, having their uh, its own trump tariff there is uh, something which is being discussed that if you are outsourcing something to uh, places like india the companies have to pay additional taxes so then again that uh, cost arbitrage or labor arbitrage is again going down so that is adding on to the pressure so what it has uh, done is that it has suddenly slowed down the high hiring in bigger companies it has pushed bigger companies to think what they should do next because you have to understand that the way you can maneuver a speed boat is very different when you compare it to maneuvering a big ship okay so these big companies are giants uh, they are feeding so many families though so many people it's very difficult for them to make a decision and suddenly see results so they have to make slow maneuvers without impacting uh, their balance sheets and that is what they are trying to do and they will do it they have some really smart people 
working right now silently. They are not letting you know. Okay. And they're going to come back very strongly. And that is my optimism coming from uh, one of the IT service companies. And I'm very proud in saying that because Indian IT service companies have given jobs and placement to so many people, so many people with average skills, so many people with uh, weaker family backgrounds, with smaller colleges who, who did not pass it out from IITs and IIMs. These were the companies who gave you the jobs. Yes, there is a challenge, but I'm 100% sure that there is something which is being built right now while we are making this video and we're going to touch base on what could be those things. And yes, there would be an impact, but a business is not built or destroyed in a day or two. Okay. So there are good people working on it. So now as we have understood that what has happened and why we are facing the challenges, I think let's talk about what could be some strategies which these companies might be working on. And I can only say might be because this is based on my knowledge, my experience and my research. Okay, because these are uh, backdoor works. Okay, no one comes out and starts saying all this until the, you see the results on the floor. So I think the number one thing which everyone is targeting in bigger companies is filling up the AI skill gap. So there is a mass training happening. The hiring has slowed down, but the training and the investment on training has gone up. So everyone is trying to make sure that their employees are getting trainings and enough resources to get to know AI, get to work on AI agents, rags, lang chains, all those kind of technology. So that is being filled. Uh, that gap, that knowledge gap, that skill gap is currently the companies are trying to fill. Second thing is, I think from that uh, labor arbitrage or cost arbitrage model, I think now the model would shift eventually to uh, outcome based or partnership based model. Okay. What does that mean? That means that it won't be that you will go to a business and you will say that, okay, give me thousand dollars and I'll make this application for you. It's not going to work like that now. I think now business would definitely expect more because they are getting better options in the market. So now these bigger companies might come and say that we will not ask you or charge you money. We are here for a partnership and we will work with you in a long term partnership and we will generate business outcomes and revenue for you and then we will take a percentage share from that whatever profit you will make so that is a high bet which companies might take because that will enforce their trust which the business right now needs so that partnership model will be uh, i think coming up the ladder the third thing which they can leverage is their domain excellence and which i also call this is called as the DAI framework, which I called as DAI, which is domain plus AI. And all these companies, because these companies have been working with so many different in industries, banking, healthcare, manufacturing, retail, insurance, you name it. And these companies have been working with these customers for 20 years, 15, 20, 25 years. So what they have got, they have got contextual knowledge, they have got domain knowledge. So while a startup might have very good scientists, very good data scientists, very good AI ML engineers, very good agent builders, they might struggle when it comes to understanding the domain. And even the businesses might give a particular company with whom they, they are working for last 15, 20 years. There's a trust factor as well, right? So if that domain excellence can be added and shipped with AI skills, then that could be a game changer or definitely a game changer move because this combination is something which will be hard even for companies who are very good technically, who have the best of the resources. I think this is something where Indian IT sector can go. Number four, what I will call as m &A, which is merger and acquisitions. And these big companies might want to, which I think they should have done earlier as well. But I think they're gonna target new startups who are investing heavily on AI and would try to acquire those kind of startups. Don't forget guys that Facebook would have not been where it is or Meta would have not been here if they would have not acquired Instagram and WhatsApp. Satya Nadella would have been in a very different place if they would have not invested in OpenAI. So I think, you know, whatever revenue is now getting generated would be heavily invested in these kind of AI startups, maybe acquire these kind of companies and get those skills and people within uh, the umbrella of these bigger companies. 
The fifth one could be investing in lesser explored uh, areas right now, which could be uh, Web 3.0, quantum computing, things which are still, we will not say our main trend. These companies might want to, uh, you know, capitalize in into these areas which are lesser explored and which are right now blue ocean. Blue ocean is a strategy where you do not have too much competition yet. So yes, I think these kind of strategies companies could come up with and definitely they would be thinking on and they have some of the most strongest balance sheets. They have a lot of runway. It is not a startup which will go bust if they do not have a runway for three months or six months. So there is nothing to worry as far as I am concerned I think but the most important thing is that what you and me should be doing so right now I think think people need to scale up people need to be those top resources who the company could bet on in long term you should be building your skills and those skills should be somewhere related so i think if not you uh, like while recording this video that video is not yet live but i have created a video on ai value chain and what roles would form a part of that particular ai value chain a very generic video but a very helpful video to understand what roles you can target if you want to be a part of AI value chain. If it is uploaded, I'll give the link. If not, then I'll let you know when it comes next. Okay, so be a part of AI value chain. Be a part of domain knowledge build your domain knowledge try to build use cases which could help your particular domain and uh, if you think that you are ready to move then you can also think of joining product company or a startup where you can get a lot of exposure coming from a technical background so it's all up to you but if you are in a service company if you are in an indian it company i would say there is yeah there are concerns but i would not say that the world has come to an end and all these companies will go shut nothing like that is going to happen there would be challenges and wherever there is a challenge there is a revival and there is a transformation so you will definitely see that indian it sector will transform into something very different which could be very good for indian economy we might be seeing that these big it companies will start investing heavily on building their own digital products or their own ai products which they could sell as a recurring revenue model or a subscription based model because now everyone has realized that we have to as india has been consumer based economy for such a long we have been served really well we have been a service based economy for we are really long and that got us here at this point where we are uh, the third largest or fourth largest economy i'm not very sure but from here on if we want to compete with players like china or us then we have to move towards manufacturing based economy or product based economy and i think definitely all these bright people working in these big companies will be thinking and channelizing their thoughts their energies towards it so at our level nothing to worry study well do your good job support each other learn every day something new and i think you'll be good you you should be good so nothing to worry no one is dying okay it is just a phase and we will see a transformation happening from here on so yeah it was a very random video i wanted to talk about it let me know if you learned something new from this video if yes please give us a like and a subscribe because with this AI wave, the teachers and YouTubers like us are also at risk because very soon you will be seeing a teacher like me, which would be a AI created teacher uh, talking to you, explaining these concepts. OK, it can very well happen. And all these teachers who are putting in so much effort to talk to you and explain you might not be relevant. So the only thing which I can expect from you guys is uh, which cost nothing just a few seconds is to press the like press the subscribe and let youtube know that there is still a lot of value in human to human uh, interaction so yeah with that keep learning keep sharing keep growing and don't worry keep learning everything will be all right bye for now